tomorrow, so hopefully the weather holds up for those games Ooh. happening. Yeah, I mean, I think by, do you, you know, the games are one what, at one, yeah? yeah. Um, I think by that time we should be okay. That's Different nice. story for people in the high country. It's uh, been that way for a while, it seems, <laughs> so at this yeah. point. So many winter storms. I yeah. feel like it's just been back to back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's almost one after the other. Uh, so that's the big weather story we have for this weekend. Uh, we are tracking, yeah, another winter storm. I want to first show you, this is Lake Havasu, where you can see a little more cloud coverage than here in the valley, but this is an area that is under a wind advisory throughout the rest of the afternoon. Uh, wind gusts there have been fairly strong. 41 mile an hour wind gusts clocked at Lake Havasu, but you can see these winds are pretty strong all across the state. This is ahead of that cold front uh, that is moving into our state, and that's going to bring some changes as we head into tomorrow. But here's a live look at multiple places across the valley. 76 in Phoenix. It is just a gorgeous day here across the valley. 72 in Glendale and Scottsdale, 75 in Chandler, bright blue skies. But overnight tonight into tomorrow, we are tracking some big changes. So we are first alerting for the mountain areas uh, because of, an, of another winter storm that's coming through. We're looking at six to 10 inches possible. This is going to be above 6,000 feet overnight tonight and into tomorrow. We could see again six to 10 inches. Uh, that is a lot for areas that have already seen a lot of snowfall so far this week. On top of that, wind and cooler temperatures, so travel into early tomorrow is discouraged. Of course, we'll keep you updated throughout the morning, too, if there are any uh, road closures, anything along those lines. As far as the future cast model is concerned, want to show you hour by hour. This is tonight. Northwestern Arizona could start to see some rain as early as about 7 o'clock, and this system shifting uh, its way on eastward. So this brought uh, some snow, actually, into L.A. today, but look at how it shifts eastward into our state. Flagstaff, this is 2.30 in the morning, so this looks to be an overnight event dropping a lot of snow into the early morning hours. The morning commute going to be a mess for eastern Arizona, and that system kind of almost pushes its way completely out of the state by 1, 2 o'clock. So that's why I think for spring training games, at least here in the Valley, we should be good to go. If anything, it will just be some cloudy skies across uh, portions of the state for tomorrow. Again, the main impact will be overnight, very early morning hours. So we're looking at, again, 8 to 10 inches possible in areas like Flagstaff, 4 inches for Heber and Pine Top when all is said and done. And as far as the rain is concerned, maybe picking up on a quarter of an inch in some areas across the valley could be a little bit more than that out east of the valley. So this is again mostly overnight into early tomorrow morning. So as you wake on up, it will be a little bit breezy. Temperatures aren't going to warm up by much, only 59. So we go from the mid 70s today to only 59 for tomorrow, staying well below average as we head into the next seven days and another chance for some slight uh, snow and rain chances middle of the week. Next weekend looking to be a little bit warmer, guys. Yeah, finally, we need some more 70s back in the forecast, yes. Holly. Agreed. All right, we'll see you soon. Volunteers are interested.